creating VR experiences and visualizing them in Google Cardboard and Daydream. By now, you should be fairly comfortable with augmented reality. It's time to look at the other end of the XR spectrum, that is virtual reality. Virtual world is altogether a different experience from the augmented world. There are a lot more different aspects which you need to keep in mind while developing a virtual reality project. So now let's dive in. Installing and setting up Unity. In this video, we are going to learn how to install Unity, making Unity component selection. Then once Unity installation is complete, we will be setting up external tools and Unity layout. Finally, we will be selecting Android as our build platform. Then we will be updating our build setting and deploying our blank VR project in the Android phone. This will ensure that setup is complete and we have everything in place. For installing Unity, you need to go to unity3d.com. So now we are on unity3d.com. Here you can find the option to download Unity. You can also download Unity Hub. Unity Hub is a new feature. This helps you maintain multiple versions of Unity on your laptop. So you can choose as per your convenience. Once you select choose Unity and download, you will be redirected to a different page. Here you are provided with different Unity plans. You can select a plan as per your convenience. For learning purpose, you can do try personal. Now you need to agree to the terms and conditions and click download. On download completion, go to downloads and start installation. Double click on Unity Download Assistant. Click open. Read the introduction and click continue. Accept the license agreement. Click agree. Now you need to select the Unity components which are required. You can select Visual Studio for Mac, Android build support. In case you want to do iOS build support, please check that as well. Currently, we will be requiring only these components. If you need more components, you can come back anytime and select and reinstall. Finally, click on continue. Now, Unity will ask you for the destination where you want to install it. Enter your password. Select the destination where you want to install Unity and click continue. Finally, complete the installation and click finish. I already have Unity installed on my machine, so I'll be exiting the installation, but please go ahead and complete the process. Unity will take some time to get installed. In the meanwhile, let's explore some important links. For important links, you need to go back to unity3d.com. Unity has a very good documentation and a very strong community. For important links, you can click on search and search for tutorials. Click on Unity Learn Tutorials. Here you can find a lot of example projects and a dedicated topic wise list of tutorials. So, in case you want to learn XR, you can directly go to this XR link and see the 20 video tutorials. Similarly, you want to learn animation, navigation, user interface audio, scripting, anything, you name it and you have the tutorial in Unity site. The other important link is documentation. So go back and search for documentation. Currently, the latest version of Unity is 2018.3. So you can see that the documentation version is 2018.3. Currently, 2019 version is still in beta. Here again, you can find the documentation for all the topics in Unity. So if you want to learn XR, you can go to XR tab, click on XR SDKs, Google VR, and click on Google VR Quick Start Guide. 
and you can see that it provides all the step by step links and details of installing Google Cardboard SDK. The third important thing is you can search for VR sample projects in Unity. So go ahead and search for Unity VR sample. This will take you to the Unity asset store and you can find that there is a project for VR samples and it is free. So once your Unity is installed, you can also add this to your asset list, import it in your project, run and understand how VR works in Unity. So now we will wait for your Unity installation to get completed. Once it's completed, we will launch Unity and start our first project. Once Unity is successfully installed, go to Spotlight and launch Unity. As I've installed Unity Hub, I need to select that. Now you can see my old projects are already shown in Unity Hub. The main difference in Unity and Unity Hub is the Installs tab. In Installs, you can see all the different versions of Unity installed on your laptop. Currently, I only have 2018.3. So let's go back to Projects tab. For creating a new project, go to New. Now you need to enter a project name. Make sure that you have selected the 3D template. You can also select lightweight, high definition, VR lightweight, depending on your choice. Select the location where you want to save your projects. You can turn off the Unity Analytics for now and create project. Unity takes some time to create the project for us. Once Unity completes its process, it will launch our project. So this is the Unity interface. You can see a lot of sections like hierarchy panel, project panel, console, scene view, game view, asset store, inspector, lighting, and many more. You can also shuffle the positions of these sections. Like I can take the game view and place it here. Or maybe if I want, I can take the game view and place it down along with the project panel so that I can see my scene view and game view at the same time. Or maybe you can change the layout in a very different way, which is comfortable to you. By default, Unity also provides certain layouts, which you can find in right top corner. Two by three looks like this. Similarly, you can select four split or tall wide. By default, Unity provides us with this interface. This is a good interface to start when you are learning. If you want to save your custom layout, you can go back and save layout. So once you have made the changes and you save it as my layout, or maybe you can give the name according to the changes you have made and save. So now you can see that there is a my layout in the layout list. Similarly, you can delete the layout if you don't want that. So it deletes it. For this course, we will be using default layout. Now we have a blank Unity project. The first thing we want to do is to change our build platform. So go to File, Build Settings, select Android. If you had selected Android while installing Unity components, then you should be able to see this section. Otherwise, it will be showing you an option to install the Android components. So now click on switch platform. Next thing which we need to do is to update our build settings. So go ahead and click on player settings. This will open a new section in the inspector panel. Change the company name from default company to maybe your name or your company. Scroll down, make sure color space is gamma. In the package name, change the company name and product name. So product name, you need to enter your project name. You can copy paste. 
change the minimum API level to Android 9.0. You can also select Nogat API level 25. I'm selecting 28. Target API level to highest installed. Scroll down. Go to publish settings. Go to XR settings and turn on virtual reality supported. You will see that virtual reality SDKs is empty. So go ahead and click on the plus sign to add SDK to the list. So we will be doing the project for cardboard. So add cardboard. You can also add daydream right now because we will be doing the project for daydream as well. In the next section, we will also be adding the SDK for HTC Vive. For now, cardboard and daydream are sufficient. So when you have multiple SDKs in your list, you can move them up and down. This helps you choose the priority for your build. So currently we'll be building it for cardboard. So let's take the daydream down. Now we need to connect our mobile phone to the laptop and click build and run. Before connecting your mobile phone to the laptop, you need to activate developer options. For this, go to system, then about phone, in the settings option in your mobile. Then click seven times on the build number to activate developer options. Once you are able to see developer options in your settings, go to developer options and click on enable USB debugging. This will allow us to deploy applications on our mobile phone from the laptop. So now let's build and run our application. One more step before this is to add open scenes. Click on add open scenes. This will include the sample scene which we have created. Now click on build and run. Select the build folder. So I'm creating a new folder called as build. And name the test build. Click on save. Now we get a new error. Unity is complaining about the Android SDK. It's providing me an option that it has detected the Android SDK at the following path. In case you have not installed the Android Studio on your laptop, then you need to go to Android website and install Android Studio. It takes from half an hour to one hour to install Android Studio depending on your internet speed. So either you can click on yes or you can go to press cancel or you can go to unity preferences. Here you have the tab for external tools. In this tab you can find that there is an option to provide Android SDK and it also provides us an option to select embedded JDK. In case you uncheck this, Unity will also ask you the path for JDK. So select the JDK back. You can browse for the SDK or you can enter the Android SDK path. Once this is done, the other thing which you would like to change is your external script editor. By default, it is Visual Studio Mono Behavior. In case you want to select Visual Studio Editor, then you can browse and select your editor in this. Finally, click save and close. Now we can go back and click build and run. Select the build folder, enter the file name, click save. First time build can take a little time. Do make sure that your mobile is unlocked while the build is happening.
in this video, we completed the Unity setup and also built and deployed a blank Unity project on our mobile phone.